Hey guys, welcome back, Airport CEO. Today, I wanna get this running right here. I wanna get this running. I'm gonna pause it really quick. This is the international airport, right? And uh, I don't even have international zones yet because apparently you have to mark those specifically. So this is all gonna be, there's gonna be some domestic flights here too, right? But a lot of this is, we're, we're gonna need to focus on international. I've got pretty much all the infrastructure set up. You know, I don't have all the shops and stuff done yet, but we'll do those. We've even got individual airline lounges, which I'll uh, look at assigning in a second, I guess. Or not in a second. Uh, by sometime in this video, I'll probably assign them. In the main level here, of course, we've got our ground level terminals down this way. Extra bathrooms, things like this. And all these things are kind of left wide open too. And uh, we'll probably do some bathrooms there. This looks like where the bathrooms are supposed to be. I actually forgot what's supposed to go here. Oh well. Down below that, we have baggage, right? They need to go ahead and pick up their baggage. And all of these tracks that are gonna bring their baggage in are all running on these high speed belts, which are coming in from two levels up on all of these, okay? So like, this is an overly complicated, doesn't need to be this way setup. But I just wanna see if it works, cause like, I don't know, it's interesting to me. So, what do we want? Well, if we want everybody coming through here, which is kind of eh, because of the number of people that will be here, then I need them to get through in this area. So I'd almost like want them to check in right here and then get them underground so that they can go all the way over here. But I'm actually starting to think that it would be better just to have them get underground as soon as possible and, and just go through the steps down here. So. What I'm thinking of is we set up their international check-in, kind of like right here. And then once they checked into their flight, they can go through security over here as well. And then we'll have this long walkway that takes them all the way over here. And it probably takes them this far down maybe because um, they can't really go across all this stuff. I'm gonna rotate the camera so that I can, yeah, like this. So I want them to come in through here Eventually, they'll end up in this side, and this is where international is going to be. And we also have stairs that go up for international. These will be not international, but these will be. And so we'll be able to get people up and uh, get them up to the top level as this whole thing will be international. Now, I'm also thinking of having a separate escalator that takes them up to international. And that way, these could be regular. In which case, uh, you know, we could have those lounges work for domestic flights as well. But the problem is, because of the way this game is designed, and again, I'm going to just reiterate it one last time, I hate how this game is designed like this with these zones. I don't think international passengers are going to be able to use these unless they're specifically marked for international flights. So I'm not gonna be able to share any resources with anyone, even if everyone's already through security. I hate that. Because it's not realistic at all. Also, tutorial says that I need to build one passport checkpoint going into the international zone. And apparently I need to build one that are coming out. Checkpoints are always inside secure zones. They need to use them to get in and get out. Which again, is not realistic, but okay. They even make a point here that says the realistic international flights option in the gameplay settings menu forces any international flight independent on standard size required to have an international zone and passport controls. Ugh, stupid. <laughs> Cause nobody does that. Nobody, never in my life of all my international traveling have I ever had to go through a dedicated passport checkpoint after checking in. The check-in is your passport checkpoint. The security is your passport checkpoint. After that, you can go wherever the hell you want, just like every other domestic passenger, in the same facilities as every other domestic passenger, until you get to your boarding gate, which, you guessed it, checks your passport again. This one's dedicated ones. It's silly. Anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna get on to building it, and uh, if you guys want to enjoy the time lapse, that's cool with me too. <laughs> Let's go.
Okay, guys, welcome back. So, uh, let me explain my actions here, because you might be wondering what the hell I'm doing. So, uh, I've got... Let's start with the base terminal here, actually. So, uh, international flights. They're going to come through the main door, and they're just going to immediately go downstairs. Uh, they're not going to have anything up here. They're going to go immediately downstairs. Once they go downstairs, they're going to be greeted with their own little terminal area. They've got some seats down here, which a lot of people are using already. These are people that, I don't know, they don't have anything better to do, I guess. But anyway, these guys are going to have some seating down here. There's a store. They can get something to eat if they want to. they got some bathrooms they can interact with. That's fine. Uh, there's also some screens right away so people can tell exactly where uh, their flight is and all that stuff. And I'm probably going to put another one like over here somewhere. And uh, probably put another one over here somewhere, and probably over here somewhere, etc., etc. We'll probably put one over here too. Uh, and you know, it doesn't matter. Like people are gonna look at these things anyway. It's fine. Okay, so after all of that is done, right? They're gonna check in over here. I've got six check-in desks. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's gonna correlate. Oh, I, I don't know how this works. I might need more desks, but I don't think so. This is gonna correlate with two of our terminals, two of our stands per check-in desk, okay? The idea being that it's unlikely that all of them will need to be used, but they're probably gonna be checking in at different times anyway, if they are. So uh, we have two stands for each check-in desk. I don't know if that's the good ratio. I'm gonna go with it for now. Then we've got security. Three big security terminals with all of the fix-ins, I guess you could call it. Now I am gonna add one extra one right here. 
And this one, of course, is going to be for staff. And uh, we're gonna need to, once again, enter the oh, roundabout like that. There we go. And this one's gonna be for staff. And staff are just gonna go through this extra one, you know, so they don't take up the line, because these are gonna be pretty long lines, most likely. We'll turn staff off on all of these and turn passengers off on this one. Let's go ahead and just make this checkpoint really, really fast. And, like, I don't really care how they get in. There's not going to be that many staff doing it. So, there you go. So, we got our staff entrance. You know, I'm just going to go just a little bit shorter with that. Because, again, it doesn't really matter. There we go. All right. So, uh, we got our staff entrance for the line here. You know, honestly, I'm just I'm looking at this like, I really want this shorter. I don't really care. Yeah, let's at least have it be forward. All right. Sounds good. There are not going to be that many staff passing through here, most likely. If there is, so be it. Information desk. Okay, so they're going to get through the security. That's where it all is. This is also the exit for that security. And you're going to notice that for the zoning, we have international zone. This is all secure. But then we're going to have international zone starting here. If you want to go through an international area, you're going to have to go through here. Now, these looks like I'm going to need uh, lines for these two, huh? Really? Uh, I'm really a little bit like... The, the sheer volume of, like, lines I have to make is exhausting. It's exhausting how many lines these things I have. Probably, we're going to need way more, way bigger lines than this, most likely. You know what? I might just need two of these instead of four. But I'm kind of hoping that by having four, I it will, like, take care of any potential problems we have. So this is going to be a slightly bigger line. That means this one has a smaller line, which, eh, maybe not. Maybe we can, uh, oh, come on now, operate. Oh, you won't go that way. That's why. Okay. Sorry. Right. You have a three wide line anyway. It's fine. And then you are going to need a read wide line as well. Like that. Okay. So we have a uh, you know, three wide line, three wide line, all these. Uh, actually, this one's a two wide line, but it doesn't matter. I'm hoping with four desks, everything will move faster. Over here, we have the automated ones. These are people who are leaving, okay? So if they're getting out, again, I don't like how they've done this. I don't like this setup at all. But this is how people are leaving. And we're going to need build queues for all of these too. Isn't that nice? But I'm going to have all of these. Like, there's so many of these built that um, I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't matter. Because there's going to be so many of them that people will just, you know, spread out and use them. I have no idea. Because I just I just hate the passport check-ins. I just hate them. So we're going through this. All oh, that's is done. So they're going to come out of the international zone through these checkpoints. Hopefully that's a thing that happens. Then, as we come down, I need to actually do one last step here. And that is this. This is the escalator, of course. And we're just going to put this like that. Okay? So they're going to come down this escalator into this hallway. This hallway is this long stretch in which they are going to have these longer walk -alators. Now, this one can probably just get away with like, like this. Something like that. Perfect. Uh, we're going to come over this way, though, and we'll have the longer one here. Now, this is a really long one. So, we're going to go uh, kind of like... Uh, I'm going to flip this around, actually. Yep, we're going to come around like uh, so. Flip it around. Let's leave a gap in between, like so. We're going to come around one more time. And we'll leave a gap in between as much as we can. There. All the way up. Wow, we got... These are pretty long, actually. There. And we need a shorter one on that side. Let's go ahead and make sure these are matched up now. So we're just going to go like that. And like that. Okay, taking them all the way to the other terminal. We're going to do the medium ones for this one. And the medium one, we'll just go right about, yep, that's fine. And flip it around, and like that. Okay, so let's take the walk -alators all the way over to this set of stairs. Up they go, up they go, and they're in this terminal. Now, if they, we have to make these lines longer, of course, but it's all right, because there's going to be a lot of people passing through here at this point. So I'm going to make these lines just a little bit longer. Bear with me. Again, I'm hoping that the sheer volume of these will be enough to disperse people and have fluid mo motion through them. 
It's possible I'm wrong. I have no idea. Because I didn't know I was going to need to lie on these, although now that I think about it, um, just like everything else in this game, it's, uh, yep, it makes sense. You're going to need to make a queue. So let's, uh, I'm just going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. Alright then, so I've got all the queues set up for these automated things. Again, I'm hoping the sheer volume of them will, uh, you know, kind of disperse everybody and they won't need to have long lines. However, I'm also really, I, I question whether or not the AI is even going to know what to do with this. I, I, I feel like this is just like, I don't know, <laughs> if this actually works and people can do that, then okay. But my idea, and this, again, this is the first time I've played this game, so whatever. The idea behind this, though, is that this terminal can still be used, this side down here, and all the facilities can still be used, all facilities can still be used by non-international passengers. That would be a thing that actually exists in a real-life airport. Facilities are not designated international only. It That's just doesn't, I mean, I don't know. I haven't been to every country in the world, but uh, 22 of them don't do that. At least I know that much. Uh, okay, so that being said, there needs to be a way for the other security level to get straight down without having to go into international because they're not international customers. So we're going to over here on this side, we're going to put in another escalator and that's going to let people over here. I mean, they can still do this and they can still get up and down on this side, but this is for international only this up here. Only international customers can get up in here and uh, that's no fun. I don't think that's good. So uh, they won't be able to get upstairs. So we're going to let them get up over here. I'm just going to go ahead and get another escalator and they're going to be able to get up on this side, right? Like that, let's say. Okay. So if you're a non-international customer, you can still traverse this whole thing and come out in a non-secure zone and do your thing. You don't have to worry about that. Now for this, because this is international, I don't know, uh, I'm going to want to put a wall right here to just kind of separate this area from the rest of it so they don't go through there unless they actually get through this. And then that's not really something the AI does. We've seen that demonstrated time and time again. The AI never crosses lines that it's not allowed to cross. It, it These borders act as actual borders. But you know, it's not necessarily going to happen all the time. So I've got some wall set up. I don't have it set up here. And uh, frankly, I don't care to set it up there because I have a lot of these things already. But that's the idea. They are able to get in and out of international zones by just checking their passport in and out all through this. And they can use these in these lounges and stuff too, hopefully as well. Okay, so with all of that done, how do we go ahead and just open this place up? Well, we're going to need to have boarding desks, which I've got there. 
This is connected to that. Good. We don't have them connected to... We don't have them connected to luggage yet, do we? Have we connected baggage bays yet? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. All right, so baggage bays. They're going to be connected down here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just say... Mm, connect baggage bag. So this one's going to go to... Uh, let's say... These two and these two. We're going to go to these two. Probably. It doesn't really matter. The baggage is all coming in anyway, so... Uh, we're gonna have to I have to route all the baggage routes as well. So that's gonna be a pain in the butt to that pain in the butt too, but uh, It's just something I'm gonna have to work with I guess I'm gonna go with that one and You are gonna connect to that one as well Then I'm gonna connect you to that one and you are gonna connect to that one as well Then we're gonna connect you to that one and you of course are gonna connect to that one as well Then we have this one here which will connect to this one. And then this one will connect to that one as well. Then we have this one, which will connect to that one. And you're gonna connect to that one. And then we have this one, which will connect to that one. And also the one right here, which will connect to that one. So we have all the stands connected now to baggage. What's going on here? I haven't done the taxiways yet. That's fine, we'll take care of it later. Okay, so with that being done, we don't have baggage transfer done. So everything is set up now for passengers, but not for the bags. We need to take care of the bags. This is where passengers will be coming and getting their luggage. They will then be able to head, uh, I think this is supposed to be a secure area. I think that's gonna be a secure area. I, I assume all of this will be international. <laughs> Actually, all of that should be domestic, right? In case it all comes through. I think so. So when passengers come in, they will get to the lower level either from here or here, and we'll be able to see them getting out through here. So why don't we just go ahead and put in a wall. Actually, I need to even build foundation on this side. I haven't even done that yet. Wow, no foundation at all over here, huh? All right, well, we'll go about, I don't know, what do you say, like here? And then we'll have to come over here, of course, and we'll have to come like that. And then we'll have to delete all the walls. And yeah, so I need to set up passenger routing to get them to be able to get to their bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll see what we're left with after that. Alright, I have a little bit of a problem. Uh, I didn't foresee this. So I have the ability for them to go and get their luggage, right? Um, they're going international, all that stuff. They come down, they get their luggage out of here. If they have luggage, they come out this way. If they don't have international, whatever, they're coming in through here anyway. And they all get their luggage. So everyone gets their luggage, whether you're domestic or international. Again, I'm assuming that big planes are going to do... You know, domestic flights as well. I might be wrong. I don't know. This game's done a lot of weird things. So maybe not. Maybe all this is for nothing, in which case I can just delete all of these, make the mark the whole zone, and be good with it, I guess. But uh, for the time being, this is how I have it set up. The problem is, once they have their luggage, how do they get back 
to here. That's my problem. And uh, I have a solution for that, I think. I don't... I think I have a solution for that. And it is... I need another tunnel. I need another tunnel that takes them from a location that's over here and brings them over to this walkway and then they're good to go. But, of course, it would be easier if I just got them back into this side. So, yeah, that would be easier, wouldn't it? And uh, I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm probably going to have to do. So... All right, I'll just turn these around, I guess. I, I hate, I hate, the, I really hate these things. Now, I also know what you guys might be thinking. Like, well, if he hates these things, he doesn't have to do it this way. He's making it hard on himself. And, well, part of this is because I actually don't know how the system works. And I'm, I, I certainly don't have the time to just play through all of this and test it. But uh, the other thing is, like, I just want to see if it works. And um, apparently, because of that international secure thing, you, you just, this is like the only way to test it without reading a stupid wiki. So I'm going to go like this, and that's going to be how everything is laid out, which is kind of meh. But okay, it's, an easy, it's the easiest possible way to get the people who got their luggage back into this tunnel so that they can go home. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, domestic people, though, how are you even getting home, right? Because you have to go through an international border, right? These are international people. They're coming through here. How do the domestic people get home? Well, that's another issue. The issue for that, which I don't even know if the AA will just do it, is I want to have a road that just takes them around and pulls them right into here. So international people will come on in here uh, and the other ones won't. However, there's another idea. And that has to do with the subway. I could get the subway to also, they can just leave through the subway on this side. Now, this probably will prompt people who are coming into my airport. I, I think, I don't think you're actually able to tell people from the subway. Where in the world is the subway, actually? It's infrastructure right here, subway entrance. I don't think you can actually mark this as one one direction only. It doesn't allow that. So I'm not going to be able to do that. And I actually can't have it be up here. So I'm going to have the subway entrance kind of be over here too, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of doing. But then like, there's no check-in desks for anybody. So eventually everyone has to go in through, through that international tunnel. Except I don't, I don't think I have to make it that way. You know, I don't have to make it that way. What if I instead allowed people to just walk through and they can use the down escalator or maybe a different escalator if you're i'm making this way too complicated aren't i guys just just tell me am i making this i'm making this way too complicated i just wanted to see if i could separate it you know i wanted to see if i could get people to come in one terminal and have every all their activities in another i didn't i just wanted to do something different and now i'm like I'm regretting every minute of it now i'm thinking like uh what have i done why why have i done it this way I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to have one walkway right around through here, let's say. And this is mostly just, well, it's not mostly just, it is exactly for just. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get people. Eh. Like, no matter what I do, right, international customers are going to have to come through this way. They're going to have to, like, there is nothing, there's no, there's no way around it, right? No matter what I do. Anyone who's going to that terminal, if they want to come back this way, they're they're gonna have to come. Th mm. All right, I, I let's try this. Let's try this. If we if we take this terminal right here, okay, and let's say we extend it just a little bit, like maybe out to here, okay, and then we cut this off, come down one level, and let's say we once again we extend this terminal. And we extend it down to where it, oh, all right. We extend it down to where it's like out like this, like the other one was. All right. So get rid of the silly walls that are created when you do things like this. There we go. And there we go. Now I'm hoping that that is, it's not lined up. It needs to be a little bit more, needs to be a little bit more this way. So let's just make a little quick adjustment there. That should be good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm better with just, like, let's just have a lot of space instead. So I have four and a half thousand or four and a half million left. So if I come up through this, 
right? I want the domestic, again, assuming domestic is possible here. I want domestic people to come in uh, through this way. So we're going to have the secure zone be all the way through here. Okay. All of this is now the secure zone down below this. This is all secure zone as well. Bam, just like that. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the international here because it makes no sense. And there we go. Okay. So uh, I think the trick here is going to be like just trying to separate all these things, which is a difficult thing in and of itself. But if I was to move this all the way over here like this, keep that wall and then drop the wall there, let's say. Uh, if I was to do that, and honestly, I could just, why don't we just, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just do that? Yeah, that's just fine. And we'll go the international route like that. Perfect. Fine. Get rid of this. Okay. And then we want to have one of these, uh, walk Are they long? It's too long. Let's go medium here. There we go. So we're going to have one of these walk take them all the way to, let's say, um, eh, I don't know what you think, like here, take them, take them like this. Yeah, all the way on that side. And then we can have them come down as well if we want them to, right? So they can come down this way. And then we'll have them come up this way, this one and over like, that with this one and then this one uh i don't have enough room that's the problem i don't have enough room here i'm gonna need more room guys <laughs> i always need more room for these plans man but we're gonna we're just gonna make another pathway just fine come all the way down like so right there we go and we're just gonna make two more paths and this is, again, the idea being these are for the domestic customers, which, I, again, I reiterate, I have no idea if they're actually going to use them. I'm, why am I in camera? Mm, yeah, like, I, I want a short one here, I think. This is, this, these are too long. Get rid of this, and you know what? We should get rid of these two. Let's just get rid of those, and we'll make the shorter one instead. Yeah, we'll make the shorter ones instead. Just gonna try. I just want to speed up walking for a short period of time, right? So that's that's kind of what I'm trying to do here for these guys. All right, and then we're gonna take the walk later once again, and we want the the big ones, the long ones this time, and we're just gonna have them go uh, like up the up the wall side for this one. So we'll just go like that and like that, and this one's gonna be too long, indeed. So we'll evaluate that later. Let's bring you down like, and we can go one, yeah, one space one, right like that. And like that, and like that, perfect. <sighs> At least I think it's perfect. All right, so let's make all of this secure because they require it to be in the zone. There we go, all the way up and there. All right, now I have to figure out where I want this other, this new escalator to be, right? Where's this new escalator? The new escalator is going to be right here. <laughs> I've decided it's going to be here, which means I need a uh, terminal underneath this, uh, right about, let's say, there. So we're just going to go like that with it. And this escalator can now go like this. So we'll put you, uh, different zones, of course. Here, look, it's secure now. Now will you do it for me, please? Thank you. Double check and make sure. Right about there is fine. Boom. Okay, let's eliminate this, and I've solved the problem. So now people can get in and get out, get on with their day. I ain't gonna worry about this stuff anymore. It's like whatever it takes to make this stupid idea work. <laughs> you know, I've figured it out. My idea is stupid. But I'm already, like, I'm at the point now where I'm just, just committed, you know? I'm just committed. And I can't, I can't stop the machine. It's already, it's moving, right? And I cannot stop it, so. Uh, we're just gonna go like so, and like so. And there we go. And then we can also have them 
have a faster walkway as they come through here too. Let's say right about here and right about here. All right, guys, there you go. That's how this stupid thing is working now. <laughs> it's really dumb. All right, so we'll have this. <laughs> Gonna go with a escalator on this side too. And we're just gonna pop this thing right. You know what? We'll do two of them. Why not? We'll do one right here, and the other will be right here. There we go. We have double escalator on this side now. And they come through security. If they're domestic, they're going this way. If they're international, they're going through this garbage. Down that chute they go. Everyone comes over through this all the way up there. Are they happy about it? No. Is that the way we're doing it? Yes. <laughs> all right, so we'll see how that garbage works. But now, now I have to connect all the belts. But these ones are already connected. So the belts for return luggage, already connected. The problem now is the belts for the luggage uh, that's going to the terminal. Now, I think this one will be a little bit of a challenge. But, see, we have them right here. So, we just need it to go down under. And it'll end up being down here. And then it can kind of move through. And um, I think what we're going to try and do anyway is get this luggage to kind of zip around this. And then it can just go straight over like that. So, it's going to be a little, bit, a little bit tricky. But I think we can handle it. Each belt or each of these things here need to go to a different, a different terminal as well. So... Um, we can connect the baggage bay for this one, for example, all the way up to, if I go up a level there, right? So we're going to keep them kind of connected to the ones that are associated like that. Good. And then we're going to come, actually, wait, there are six, no, there are six of these. Interesting. Okay. Never mind. We'll reconnect the baggage bay here, right? This is six and six. So each one of these connects to a different one. They are not combined. That sounds fun. <laughs> I have to do things the hard way. I have to. It's it's in my blood. <laughs> uh, all right. You know what? This isn't going to be hard. I we This is going to be fine. It's going to be okay. This is, I'm telling myself this, not you. I'm just like, you know what? This isn't challenging at all. To be honest, I, I think we can pull it off. So we'll do one at a time and we'll try to leave room for the rest. Yeah. So let's start with the, the, the far left one. I think that's probably the best one to start with because it, it, it determines how much room is left for the rest of them, right? So we need conveyor belts. And obviously we're doing the high speed belts for most of this, but we're going to go escalator down uh, here. Oh, we're gonna go escalator down here. Yeah, right here. Escalator down. Uh, do we need to do? Yeah, we need to do that. We need to go down and then, and we can wrap around after that point. So, uh, we'll go down. Uh, illegal position. Huh? Wait, what? Oh. 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 I see. It's all making sense now. Okay, new plan. New plans. Oh, boy. We're going to go instead by taking these walls out of here because that will make total sense. It makes about as much sense as everything else I've done. And we're going to take the, the slow belts at first, I think. Now, I don't know how to use these tilt trays. I'm actually, I don't know how to use these tilt trays. I imagine this is the part where the baggage just gets sorted based on what it is. And we could use two tilt trays total. We could use one for here. And this would send it off in different directions that way. And then, yeah, you know what? We should do that. <laughs> we should try this. We should really try this. Let me make sure we're not, you know, super depressed on how much space we have down here. All right, I could make this work. 
as long as we end up over here, so we have to bring everything to the right, basically directly under, directly between the icons of this terminal. Yeah. All right. So if we were to do that, let's say, let's 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 try this. All right. So we're gonna take the the belts, and uh, we're gonna bring them all the way. Let's say we bring them like this. One, two, three. We bring them over like so. Not like that. Like that. Okay. Let's say that this is how this happens. I have no idea how this is going to work. Because <laughs> I've never used the tilt trays before. But I got to use them, right? I got to showcase and or try everything. Might as well. So let's get all of these things hooked up like so. All right. Now this one. No. Bad. You dumb, dumb thing. Oh, you stupid, stupid, stupid thing. Ugh, this automated. Okay, you know what? Here, we'll do this. There. How you like that? Looks terrible. Have to do it. Or not. Wow. Just. Just wow. Uh, wow. Now, more than ever, I wish I could just move that over. Mm, can't do it. Okay, all right, hang on. Why don't we just try this? See, they're going different directions now. Son of a... It even changes the direction of that one. There. No! That makes no sense. Why? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. All right, that works. And then... Uh, uh, we're going to go... Is it not this one? Yeah, we'll go off back this one and like this and like that. Okay, let's hook these all up. So we have these belts. They all go different directions. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, they're all going to go to uh, their own individual place. So we're going to use the tilt trays. And I think the tilt trays are going to... Let's set up the other routes, actually. Because like, how, is those, how are those routes going to form? We need six belt paths. These three are all going up too. Tilt Tray is going to organize them after that. Connected, and I still have 1.8 million left. Oh, it all kind of looks a little bit like, um, kind of reminds me of Tron almost, like these different highways that are all lit up. It's like a circuit board. I'm building a freaking circuit board right here. It's kind of interesting. I don't think anyone else is building airports like this. <laughs> There's a, probably a pretty good reason for that. All right, so uh, I think, I don't know this, but I think the tilt tray is responsible for just like figuring out what bag it is and just tilting it to the right the right way I, I think I 
If the tilt tray doesn't work the way I think it does, then we're just gonna need more belts. Uh, yeah, okay. So we are, I'm gonna take a break right here. We're gonna come back in the last video. I, I don't know, I was gonna make this one the last one, but I don't know, I, want to, I just wanna see how it operates. So uh, there might be one more after this, uh, after the next one, we'll see. Uh, come on back for the next one. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna leave you with a cliffhanger there. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. If you like the videos, you can give them a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, you can hit that button down there. Be sure to click the bell for the notifications and check out anything else that's going on on the channel. We'll see you next time, bye.